how the billions of bananas we consume each year are harvested and processed? Hidden behind every familiar banana is a complex industrial process, a delicate blend of traditional agricultural experience and modern technological applications. Indeed, a small, seemingly simple banana plays a pivotal role in a global value chain. You'll be surprised to learn that optimizing irrigation and nutrition alone, thanks to sensor technology, and artificial intelligence can help increase banana yield by up to 30%, a golden secret in the agricultural industry. The journey of a banana begins in vast, lush green fields in tropical regions, where each banana plant is not just a single entity, but part of a gigantic production system. Banana cultivation requires scientific calculation. The ideal spacing of two to three meters between plants not only ensures each plant has enough space for maximum photosynthesis, but also minimizes the risk of pest and disease spread, a crucial factor in large-scale banana farming. Young banana plants are planted about 30 centimeters deep in the soil, a technique that not only helps them withstand strong winds, but also optimizes nutrient absorption, especially when the plants begin to bear heavy bunches of bananas. In banana cultivation, precision is vital. A small error in balancing micronutrients can severely affect the yield of the entire crop, requiring farmers to adhere to strict procedures. With the support of automated monitoring systems, farmers regularly remove diseased or dead leaves. This is not just a sanitation task, but a comprehensive disease prevention strategy, while also optimizing the plant's photosynthetic capacity. Because a lack of sunlight can significantly reduce banana yield and quality, directly affecting the outcome of the entire season. As banana flowers bloom and young bananas begin to form, the banana bunches are carefully covered with specialized bags. These bags are not only a physical barrier against harmful insects, but also part of a controlled microclimate system. Maintaining uniform temperature and humidity inside the plastic bags is a key factor, determining the consistent color, size, and quality of the bananas meeting the strict standards of the international market. Furthermore, thinning out excess bananas is an art and a science. This is a strategic decision to concentrate maximum nutrients into the remaining bananas, ensuring they grow to optimal size and quality. This pruning method not only helps control the structure of the banana bunch, making maintenance and harvesting easier, but also promotes strong plant growth and maximizes fruit yield per hectare. Banana harvesting is a challenging process requiring finesse and precision. Unlike many other fruits, bananas are often harvested green, a carefully calculated strategy. This allows bananas to continue ripening during storage and transportation, ensuring they reach consumers with perfect ripeness, neither too soft nor too hard. Dwarf banana varieties typically take about 11 to 14 months from planting to harvest, while taller varieties require about 16 months. However, the time from flowering to harvest for a typical banana bunch is only about three to four months demonstrating a rapid production cycle that requires strict management. Signs that bananas are ready for harvest include slightly wilted leaf tips, a color change from dark green to light green, and especially the natural shedding of the flower end. At this point, 
The bananas will become plump and firm, signaling that they have accumulated enough starch for their next journey. Harvesters, equipped with specialized knives, carefully cut down each banana bunch without damaging the remaining young fruits on the tree. The banana harvesting process is not only labor-intensive, but also requires high skill and seamless coordination. Each banana bunch can weigh from 29 to 50 kilograms, 65 to 110 pounds, a significant weight that farmers must skillfully handle. To protect bananas from bruising, a crucial factor determining marketability internationally, they are carefully placed on specially padded transport vehicles. Farmers often use thick foam pads on their shoulders to minimize personal injury when carrying heavy banana bunches. A harvesting team usually requires at least two people. One professional who decisively cuts the banana bunch with a knife, while the other supports the bunch to ensure no damage occurs. Next, the banana bunches are secured onto a specialized pulley or cable system. This system is designed to transport bananas from the field, sometimes on hilly terrain, to collection points or processing centers efficiently and safely. The installation of this cable system is not only an ideal solution, but also a testament to the application of technology to optimize logistics processes. On average, a cable system can transport about 90 banana bunches at once, far exceeding the capacity of a regular truck, which can only carry about 35 to 40 bunches, making trucks more common on smaller farms, where investment scale and terrain allow. After leaving the fields, bananas are immediately taken to the processing area. Here, they undergo a rigorous washing and sorting process. Skilled workers, supported by modern machinery, cut large banana bunches into smaller clusters and soak them in clean water to remove initial dirt and impurities. Have you ever wondered how delicate bananas can travel thousands of kilometers to consumers while retaining their freshness? The secret lies in the scientific pre-cooling step. Within 10 to 12 hours after harvest, bananas are placed in specialized cold storage, where temperature is strictly controlled to slow down the ripening process, minimize post-harvest losses, and significantly extend storage time. This is a key strategy, significantly improving marketability internationally, where bananas need a long journey to their destination. After cooling, workers continue to separate the banana clusters into smaller portions, convenient for packaging. Each tray of bananas is then precisely weighed to ensure it meets the required weight, maintaining product uniformity according to export standards. Bananas are carefully packed into specialized boxes and stored at a temperature of 13 to 14 degrees Celsius throughout transportation ensuring they retain their freshness until they reach distant international markets. Only the highest quality bananas are selected for export, while the rest are distributed in the domestic market. Besides their wonderful taste and countless health benefits, bananas also have a major drawback. They spoil very quickly and are difficult to store for long periods without professional processing. This is the driving force behind the strong development of the deep processing industry. One of the most popular methods to extend the shelf life of bananas is to process them into crispy fried bananas. The production process of fried bananas is a skillful combination of artisanal techniques and modern machinery. First, Carefully selected bananas are peeled by skilled workers, ensuring no damage to the fruit flesh. Next, an automatic slicer cuts the bananas into uniformly thin slices, only about 3 to 5 mm thick, ensuring optimal crispiness after frying. Here, technology demonstrates its superior power. Instead of manual stirring, bananas are fed into an automatic frying system where stirrers continuously turn the banana slices in hot oil at a precise temperature 
of about 180 degrees Celsius. This process not only removes some water from the bananas, but also gelatinizes starch, destroys spoilage enzymes, and creates a crispy product with a unique, irresistible aroma and taste. After about two to three minutes in oil, the bananas become crispy and acquire an attractive golden color. They are then rapidly cooled before an automatic conveyor belt transports these crispy banana slices to a seasoning mixer. Here, the bananas are evenly coated with pre-measured seasonings, creating a variety of flavors from savory, sweet, to mildly spicy or aromatic. Finally, the fried bananas are fed into an automated packaging line where they are carefully packed, ready to reach consumers. A modern production facility like this can process up to 15 tons of bananas per day, a clear testament to the scale and efficiency of this industry. With the increasing demand for healthy and convenient snacks, the fried banana market is witnessing remarkable growth, with a global market size estimated to reach 2.66 billion US dollars. This truly represents enormous growth potential. And you, are you a fan of this crispy, aromatic snack? Bananas are not just for desserts or snacks. They can also be transformed into banana flour, a healthy alternative to traditional wheat flour in many recipes. The production process of banana flour begins with green bananas, which are dried using industrial dryers and then ground into fine flour using high-capacity mills. This is a promising business opportunity. With a modest initial investment, farmers can produce banana flour themselves and sell directly to retailers or food processing facilities, expanding the value chain and increasing income. Beyond the food sector, the banana plant also offers a surprising value, banana fiber. From the banana trunk, a part often considered waste after each harvest, farmers, with the help of technology, can now create a light, breathable, and environmentally friendly fabric. There are two main types of banana fiber. The first type, extracted from the inner layers of the trunk, has a silky soft texture and often has a higher economic value. After harvesting, the banana trunk is cut down and the outer layers are carefully removed to expose the strong inner fibers. The trunk is then placed in treatment tanks to decompose unnecessary organic matter and separate the fiber bundles. This process requires chemical precision and soaking time to ensure the fibers are not damaged. After separation, the banana fibers are thoroughly washed and dried using industrial dryers to completely remove moisture, prevent mold, and increase durability. Workers, using specialized fiber brushing machines, perform the brushing stage to separate and make the fibers smooth and flexible. Finally, these long fibers are spun into thin threads and woven on automatic looms to produce beautiful fabrics. The second type of banana fiber is coarser, extracted from the outer layers of the trunk. Although somewhat rougher, this type of fiber offers a soft yet strong rope-like feel, ideal for producing accessories, handbags, or even environmentally friendly building materials. A big plus is that banana fiber is completely biodegradable, making it a sustainable choice for the future. It's truly amazing to see a room where all items from rugs, curtains to decorations are made from banana fiber. However, the current production of banana fiber is still quite time consuming and has not been widely adopted on a large industrial scale. On average, among the 500,000 hectares of banana cultivation worldwide, only about 10% of the waste from banana trunks is processed into fiber. This is an untapped potential, but promises a greener future for the banana industry. So, are you ready to delve deeper into the technological secrets shaping modern agriculture? Leave a comment below about what you want to explore next, 
and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our exciting discovery journeys.